Larry Melrose was the star of every show he ever appeared on, and I, for the better part of 30 years, merely rode his extremely oversized coattails. The only guest to ever actually sit in the lounge with me was here that Barry dissected nightly hockey highlights with his own unique special brand of analysis. Just a few years ago, it would have been unthinkable that ESPN would broadcast an opening night NHL triple header, or for that matter, even a 30-second clip without the Melrose touch. But now, the man who has forever worn the C on our hockey club has decided he's taken his last shift on television. Diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, Barry will focus on his health and his family. Now, we needed someone great to help us skate through his hockey career. We're pretty confident we found the right guy. In hockey, there are legends. What a goal by Mary But the great players, all of us, are associated primarily with our teams. As I said a thousand times over, I really enjoy playing for Barry. My friend and former coach, Barry Melrose. Hi, I'm Barry Melrose, the hardest working sports announcer in the world. He's bigger than any team. For decades, he's been suiting up. And I mean suiting up. Look at the shoes, man! <laughs> for the game, for the sport, for hockey. What I hope you guys will start realizing, we can beat anybody. Barry was hired to be our coach in L.A. in 1992, and he was just 35. This coach breaks the mold. He's got long hair. He even likes ketchup on his French toast. He'd never coached a game in the NHL. But as soon as he took over, all we did was start winning. And the Kings win it. And that first year, we went all the way to the Stanley Cup final. The expectations were hopefully just to make the playoffs and how far they came. But within a couple of years of the 93 final, Barry found his true calling. Bill Pito along with Barry Melrose. What's going on? Not much, but I'm uh, going to have a lot better preseason and regular season than I had last year, I promise you. I hope so. <laughs> so do I. And we also would, would have expected a haircut for the season debut. On TV, Barry was, well, from day one, Barry. No tricks. He's my boyfriend. Talk. Come on back. It's not that bad. Man, we should have gotten into the Gretzky stories quicker. Instead, Barry was all treats. I feel like Trey Conroy serving up Jerome McGinn with some beautiful passes right now. Here you go, ladies. And above all, a man who loved his country. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. Melrose here? Oh, yes. Patriot love. Without pandering, without sugarcoating, in his flamboyant suits, with his big cigars, Barry has brought the game to life for millions of viewers. A couple months ago, Marty's with the Pope. Now he's with Melrose. How's his career going? Oh, yes. The hair helps. Your hair. What, what's it called? Do you have a name for it? I just call it the Mully, but uh, a lot of the other guys call it the Barry Melrose. Oh, I, I like try to, that. I try I like to pull that. it back. That's good. You see, hockey is more than a game. It's a community a finely tuned orchestra. And Barry was our conductor. I, you, I really enjoy your work on TV. Yeah, thanks very much, man. I really do. I, I, I appreciate I, I, I that. It's, it's, it's distracting me. They're counting me down. I don't even know what to say. You got a haircut. Yeah, haircut 10 days. Oh, I'm not sure if the fans got my playoff notice. haircut. It's already starting to grow. Teams were a better team. They were deeper. They were bigger. Barry has given so much to the game. I think you are the best analyst on television. Barry Melrose. You ever heard of him? No. No. Nope. Why are you making these names up? <laughs> One timer. When the girl doesn't call back. Oh yeah, I like that. Put her there. <laughs> you were you gonna pick it up from there. I thought you were gonna maybe toss it to me. And now he needs our support. And all of us in hockey. Barry Melrose. Cool as a rule. Are here for him. Uh, 
Uh, Barry and his massive PR team put this statement together. I've had over 50 extraordinary years playing, coaching, and analyzing the world's greatest game, hockey. It's now time to hang up my skates and focus on my health, my family, including my supportive wife, Cindy, and whatever comes next. I'm beyond grateful for my hockey career and have called ESPN home for almost 30 years. Thanks for the incredible memories, and I'll now be cheering for you from the stands. This from the commissioner of the National Hockey League, Mr. Gary Bettman. He said, Barry is a unique, one-of-a-kind person, and hockey on ESPN won't be the same without him. For nearly 50 years as a player, coach, and broadcaster, Barry's gigantic personality and trademark style have made our game bigger, more exciting, and more entertaining. His love for hockey is obvious and infectious, and it is impossible to have a conversation with him without a smile on your face. Barry, we wish you well in this fight. Know you will give it everything you have, as you always do. And speaking of those nearly 50 years the commissioner just referenced, let's put our guy in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Barry would tell you his 10 goals and 728 penalty minutes in an even 300 NHL game should be enough to get him enshrined in Toronto. Never mind his minus 119. He always hated the plus minus stat. There was Barry's brilliant rookie season behind L.A.'s bench that Gretz spoke of, coming just three wins shy of that elusive Stanley Cup. But we all know that's not enough for HOF. But you put him in because he has been the forever face of hockey on television in America, selling the sport to everyone he's ever come in contact with. There's been no better ambassador. As for the season that begins tonight, Barry told me he's picking the Kings to win the Stanley Cup beating Montreal this time in six games. Shay and Matt, back to you. Thank you, Libby. I appreciate that. Look, uh, being authentic, your true self, relatable, yeah. all things that go far in our business, and to do it for 30 years and at the best of levels is something that's remarkable. So we wish you well, Barry, and I feel lucky that I got to talk a little hockey with you even a few times. The one thing I will never forget about Barry Melrose, I was coming in from the Dallas television market. We were a football market, started here at ESPN in February 2013. I'm sitting next to this hockey giant, very insecure about my hockey knowledge, sitting next to him. Right. From that first segment I did with him in February 2013 until present day, each and every segment, when it was done, he would lean over, tap me on the leg, and he'd say, good job. Every single time, he wanted you to know you did a good job. Well, to be candid, he carried every segment I ever did with him. Uh, ESPN chairman Jimmy Pataro gave his thoughts on Mel Rose and what he's brought to fans during his career as well. We thank and congratulate Barry Melrose for his exceptional contributions to hockey on ESPN for 30 years. Barry has had a connection to the sport for an astonishing 50 years as a player, coach, and analyst, and he has left an indelible mark both on and off the ice. We wish him and his family the very best.